All right. Hey guys, happy Sunday. So in this bowl, okay, hop down. You can help me when I'm ready for you, okay? In this bowl, I have like a massive amount of pumpkin. So I baked this last night. Um, it was two and a half pumpkins and pumpkins about this size. These are pumpkins that we grew in our very own garden that uh, saved the seeds and Hershey got these planted and tended to them all year. And so we got our own little um, edible pumpkins. So um, if you follow us, you'll have seen we also got, okay, please go. I'm cooking. I don't want the dog in here. Um, so we also got this guy. Oh, he's almost turned completely orange. Um, but yeah, so we may try to figure out how to turn this into our jack-o'-lantern. Um, I'm not sure, or, or may he may end up becoming pie or muffins or something. So, um, and then this little guy, I don't know if he's gonna get ripe or not, like turn orange, but we'll still be able to cook him. He just won't be as flavorful. So, um, but yeah, so I baked the pumpkins last night, um, cut them in half, uh, scooped out the seeds, and I then roasted the seeds. Um, bake the pumpkin, you just put it uh, on parchment paper, on a pan, um, in the oven, 350 for about an hour or so until you can like, push the skin in and it gives, um, you pierce it, pierce it several times. Um, and then you just cook it till it's soft. So I added a little bit, a little bit of salt and a little bit of, um, pumpkin pie spice to each half. You don't need to add any extra water. You don't need to add any oil or anything like that. You just place them face, um, cut side down and you bake them. And it smelled amazing in the house last night. So um, last year, if you remember, I was a little bummed because I had grown pumpkins um, and I had baked them and everything. And by the time I got around to using the puree stuff, like the actual pumpkin, it had grown mold. And so I wasn't able to make a pumpkin pie out of my own pumpkins, but that's changing this year. So again, this is like, this is big. I don't know how big this size is, um, but it's a big mixing bowl full of pumpkin. So I'm going to make a pumpkin pie today. Um, and then, uh, these will probably be turned into pumpkin muffins. This probably won't even make it to our Thanksgiving pie because I still have those two other pumpkins. So this is so just, just for funsies. And Zeta has been asking for pumpkin pie, although I don't think she really likes pumpkin pie, but pie. we'll see. So, and I realized that you can make pumpkin pie two different ways. You can make it with sweetened condensed milk, or you can make it with evaporated milk. I'm kind of doing a shortcut pie today. Um, Thanksgiving, I'll do the real deal, but my shortcut pie today is I'm using a graham cracker crust for a little bit of a twist on it too. Um, so, and I'm going to use um, sweetened condensed milk this time around. So the next time I make it, I might use uh, evaporated milk and see kind of what the difference is. Okay, hang on. So I'm missing, um, good evening, for, uh, sorry, from the Wilson household. Hey, Wilson to Wilson. Um, you were just talking sorry. about pumpkins. Oh, awesome. Hey, Travis. Uh, the old gang's here in Lucy. <laughs> All right. So yes. Um, sweet. You guys are cooking with me. Um, so I have to, it's going to get a little bit noisy because this is like straight scraped from the pumpkins. Um, so it's not actually like puree yet. So it's not, uh, it's still very, uh, chunky and clunky. So I'm just putting, um, I've got my magic bullet and I'm just going to put it, I just need two cups worth. So, um, let me get my measuring cup. Oh, and so for the pie, I've got my oven turned to 425. So, um, preheated to 425. I will initially put it in the oven at 425 degrees, let it cook for about 15 minutes, and then you reduce it down to 350. So you reduce the heat. 
so that it, uh, it doesn't crack as much. Typically with pumpkin pie, um, it's pretty common for you to get cracks, but um, it will, reducing the heat will reduce the large cracks. And also, I mean, it's like, it's not like the crack's gonna make it taste bad. It's just, if you're trying to win a prize for like perfectly smooth pie, it's probably not gonna go. So, is that a blouse or a dress? Oh, it's a dress. This is like my bohemian. <laughs> Uh, Hershey got this for me, for me for Christmas. So it's super comfy, super flowy. I love it. So thank you. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to get this pie or get this pumpkin. Keep in mind, folks, she didn't like this dress at first. Oh, geez. Yeah, yeah. Like, so oh, geez. So here's like all these different little Here ones. Here we go. And I was like, pick a design. She's like, I don't like any of them. It's She's not, like, it's not cool. typically my style. And now she loves it because it's, it feels great. And I get compliments every time I wear it. I will say it's not typically my style, but Hershey will say that I don't have a style. So, ooh, um, also I ordered my very first, uh, box on Stitch Fix, um, which is a, uh, like a clothing thing, <laughs> a clothing I guess it's a subscription box, but you basically put in your whole style, your size, your everything, and you have a personal shopper that curates a box of clothes for you. Um, so I ordered that because I got a really cool code um, from somebody else. And so I'm going to, once I get that, I'll do a review. I'm really hoping for like a really solid pair of jeans because, yeah, I don't have any good jeans anymore. So... Anyway, I'm going to puree this now, so it's gonna get noisy up in here. Pureed. Yeah, I feel like I'm making baby food all over again. Ooh, you can't smell it, but look how beautiful that is. Oh, and fun fact, did you know that typically when you buy canned pumpkin from the grocery store, it's not actually pumpkin and it's squash? So, okay, look how smooth that is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Homemade, homemade pumpkin pie. Okay, so let's measure this out. Okay, and I'm gonna need another one because that was about a cup. Yep, so there's a cup going into my bowl here. Okay, and then I'm going to scoop some more into here. Yeah, so you saw the difference. So this is it coming out of the bowl. Um, so, you know, it's got some strings and stuff um, versus what I just pulled out of here. So let's do another one. While this is doing its thing, I'm gonna go grab my spices that I need. Okay, 
see. Ooh, yes. So again, you saw it when it went in, and this is it now. So let me do another cup of this. And no extra water is needed. When it bakes, it, you know, produces its own juice to steam it. So there is another cup and that's going into my bowl. And then I will deal with this here in a second. But I have just a little bit left. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll give this a, a quick little, again, this is like just plain baked pumpkin. But this is what I'd feed a baby if I still had a baby. Mmm. It's good. Because I baked it with the... Um, the pumpkin pie spice, it's got a little bit of hint of that, but it's not like super strong. Um, yeah, that's good. It's This pie is gonna be amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. So I have my um, pie. I guess I can move you guys down so you can see a little bit better. Okay, there we go. So, and then I need my, oh, I need my sweetened milk. All right, so I got my sweetened condensed milk. Pop this can open. Uh, Noe has her own channel, it's here. Soon a video will go up asking what topic should she cover. Oh, okay, so you just put that out there, I see. <laughs> yeah, so I have my own channel that apparently I started nine years ago. Um, and the goal was uh, I was going to be like reading stories because at the time mm -hmm. I was in... Uh, I was in night class for grad school and I had had Zoe, um, I had Zoe in January of my last year of grad school. And so I had a lot of night classes because of that. Also because we were supposed to be working in our practicum. Um, so I had started it to try to like read stories to her. It never really went anywhere. <laughs> I didn't really do much with it. Um, and so Hershey thinks I should get it activated. And so we'll see. I think he, I think he posted it. So maybe you guys can go and um, subscribe. Not that I won't still do content here. Um, Cause I will, but also not like I do a whole lot of content. <laughs> um, but I'm going to try to be better at that. Um, but we'll see. So. It's a growing process. All right, so one can of sweetened condensed milk has gone in. Two eggs are going in. And you'll see, sadly, that I'm using white eggs, which means these are not my chicken's eggs um, because, well, it's fall time and seemingly they have like stopped their egg production. Um, I haven't checked in the last two days, but uh, I think it was on Friday. It was like they had one like little tiny egg that they gave me. <laughs> I'm like, okay, ladies, it's all good. Um, okay, so my two eggs are in there. I need a teaspoon of cinnamon. I never know where my teaspoon is. Your teaspoon. What is your teaspoon? Teaspoon is five milliliters. Okay, I'm missing. Um, hey, Sandra, how's it going? Okay, so a teaspoon of cinnamon. Can you put this back on there? 
cinnamon going in. Her plunkety. And then it says a half teaspoon of ginger, a half teaspoon of nutmeg. Um, but actually, I'm just going to use pumpkin pie spice because that has everything. That's got cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and cloves. So this is going to have a little bit of extra dose of um, that. But I'm going to use a teaspoon of my pumpkin pie spice. All right, and then a half teaspoon of salt. So we're just gonna toss that in there. Okay, so eggs, cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, and salt. We are ready to mix this bad boy up. And my oven is preheated. Smells like pumpkin pie. It seems really runny. I'm wondering, I may add in just a little, just the remnant of my pumpkin here because it might thicken it up. better. Oh, thanks, Chili Beans. This is a dress that Hershey got for me, and he likes to add that it wasn't my style, and so I didn't think I was going to like it, but I do. I love it. It's super comfy. Okay, that feels like a better consistency. So there we go. There we have it. It's all mixed together. Um, I've got my pie crust. When I make my pie for Thanksgiving, I will do a uh, homemade pie crust. Um, but for a Sunday afternoon, I didn't want to have to deal with it right now. So I've got my graham cracker. Plus, who doesn't love a graham cracker crust? So it's going in. Hopefully there's enough room for everything. Ooh. <laughs> yep, I'm going to have some leftover, so I have to figure out what to do with that, but wowza, okay, I'm going to have to move you, look, <laughs> maybe cupcakes, but it's like custard, I need to do like little ramekins, um, of pie we'll have to see um so yes 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 who's ready to see it go in the oven okay so i'm gonna put you back here again we are at 425 already Okay, Google, set a timer for 15 minutes. Second timer for 15 minutes. Oops. And that's starting now. Okay. <laughs> I know. All right. So, pumpkin pie. So now I got to figure out what to do with this. Maybe I shouldn't have added that extra pumpkin. <laughs> but I'm probably going to just um, save it. I'll just pour it into here 
and I'll probably make a, I'll figure something out. Pumpkin tart or something. Okay. Oh yeah, and how do you guys like our countertops? I am loving the black. And I love just not having like those old blue and white, I guess they were blue and white countertops. Um, okay, so yeah, so I'm just going to save this and pop it in the fridge and I'll hold on to that and I'll figure out what to do with this. Um, later. All right, so we got that in the oven, um, and since I've got you on, I might as well just continue, and I'm going to make dinner. You guys want to make dinner with me? So how have your weekends been? It's Sunday, uh, heading into another week. Okay, so tonight I stopped at the grocery store today and I got some stuff for this week, but also for tonight. Um, so tonight, I'm going to make some rice. Okay, let me rinse my rice. Okay, do you guys wash your rice? Do you know that you're supposed to? And here's a truth moment. I did not know that you had to wash rice. I, um, as you know, I did grow up in a Caucasian home. And so, if we did have rice, it was usually Uncle Ben's or like Minute Rice, um, which I think is different. It's more like dehydrated, right? So I didn't really, I didn't know. And it wasn't until I uh, was cooking with Herschel that he's like, you gotta wash the rice. And I'm like, what? So. All these videos that people are out there on social media talking about people not washing their rice, like, it's a thing. Like, if you didn't grow up in a cultural family where rice was a big thing, I feel like, then you might not know that. But I did not know that. But washing the rice, one, it cleans it because the factories are gross. And two, it reduces... Um, the arsenic levels, but also it just, it cleans it, right? So, this is a combination of white and brown rice. I need more water. Um, the girls don't, brown rice is not their favorite. So, I am going to toss in a bouillon cube this time, since it's mostly brown rice, to instantly add flavor to it. So let me crush this up a little bit. They revive themselves because these people are going to be Okay. 
So, put a bit of bullion. Where's my lid? Lid. Lid. Rice cooker lid. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's that. Let's see, am I missing? Um, what's on the menu? Always wash the rice. I know, Lucy. <laughs> I had to learn that. Um, so I'm making shrimp. We're going to do some shrimp scampi. Okay, so I got the rice going, and let me get my pan. Hey, where's that big yellow pan, or the big, um... How the dishwasher, babe? No, the big silver pan. Yeah, try the dishwasher. Oh, it fits in the dishwasher? What did you make in that? Uh, oh. Dude, this whole thing, and it's a big pan, like, <laughs> big, uh, fit in our little dishwasher. I'm shocked. Okay, so shrimp scampi, so I'm going to need some garlic, got that, and some butter. Then I got my garlic press. Okay, I may put you guys in the tripod so you can see the stove a little better. And move over here. Okay, there we go. So I got my Garlic press. Can I interrupt you for a sec? Sure. Do you mind putting your uh, Amazon thing in here? The stuff, the sign stuff that you use? There's uh, Prime, uh, the Prime gaming thing. So I'm like, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Yeah, that's your turn. Fun fact, if you guys didn't know, to get garlic smells off of your hands, you just need to rub your hands on some uh, stainless steel. Ugh. Yeah, squeeze that garlic. So, this um, garlic press is actually stainless steel to help with that. But also like if your sink is stainless steel, you just rub your hands on it and it'll take the smell away. Which if you've ever seen, they sell like metal bars of, of what they call soap. And that's, it's, it's stainless steel and that's why. I think it does the, it works the same for onions. But yeah, if you just rub your hands, it doesn't smell anymore. I got this pan like this way hot super fast. <laughs> I've done my part. Oh man, the garlic. <laughs> um 
Can you go out and cut me some parsley from the raspberry patch? Yeah. Thanks. You know where it's at, right? Just give me as much as you can. Got that going. My butter is salted butter, so I'm not gonna add any extra salt. Um, I need to break up that garlic cluster though. Okay, and then I'm tossing some cracked black pepper. And then I have my fritz. So I just used, this was on sale. Um, so it's just the already cooked. Awesome. Thank you. Definitely wash that. Yes. So fresh parsley from the garden. From our what? From our baby food forest, that's right. And I'm just going to toss these in here. This smells so good, the fresh parsley. So, so good. Really bright. Really fresh, really bright. I love it. Okay, and since the shrimp are actually cooked, it's just this just really has to get them warmed and kind of into that buttery garlic sauce and also we got to wait on the rice so um we got some time but it's on low i'm not going to toss the parsley in just yet because i still want it to maintain that freshness um so yeah let's see what else should we have Um, maybe some corn. The girls like corn. So yeah. This smells amazing. If I had a little bit of white wine, I'd toss some white wine into here, but we drank it all. <laughs> Smells good, huh? Um, can you give me some corn, please? Okay, Google, stop. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to turn my oven down to 350. Okay, and 
and some corn will go in. I'm going to put my pumpkin back in here. Somewhere. <laughs> What did you guys have for dinner? Because I know you East Coasters, you've already had dinner. Looks like a yummy dinner so far. Thank you. Um, okay, so some corn. salt and granny's secret ingredient was a little bit of pinch of a sugar or a little bit of pinch of sugar or a little pinch of sugar that's right <laughs> I knew it'd sound right eventually <laughs> We got shrimp. Okay. Can somebody give me a can of green beans? Thank you. It smells good. Thank you. What are you smelling? The pie or the shrimp? The shrimp. Oh. We haven't had the shrimp in a long time. our green beans will go a little bit of salt some pepper I gotta go grab my onion powder secret ingredient, a little bit of bacon. Ooh, I gotta tell you, it does smell good in this house right now. We have that can opener, it's the best. Yes, I know. So you've gotten this from Pampered Chef then. <laughs> so uh, little known fact, I guess, um, I sold Pampered Chef for a hot minute. 
Um, it was when we lived in New Mexico and I was like, oh, um, well, I went to a party that my neighbor had and <clears throat> kind of got like into the idea of like, oh, well, maybe I could do this and be a stay at home mom because I had just had Zara at the time. So I had both Zoe and Zara. Um, Zoe had just turned two. So, you know, two little ones. And I was like, oh, well, this is kind of cool. Maybe I could do this. So Hershey agreed to it um, as long as I could make back the investment that I had to put into it. And I think I did. I did. I ended up doing a couple of parties, but really, I mean, the big thing is like, I got all the cool, I got the kit. So I have like the cool baking stuff. Um, and then I also got discounts on stuff. So it was nice. What are you doing? Um, but for me, I just wasn't a very good salesperson. So once I kind of ran out of my circle of friends <laughs> to uh, have them hold parties for me, um, I uh, it was just, yeah. I made movies last night. Yes, Lil Zarbean has been making movies. So um, who knows? She may become a the new uh, a future... Director. Uh, yeah, director. Uh, Francis Ford Coppola. Is Francis a girl or a guy? I don't know. Um, so yeah, so let's see. Jerry likes to cook. Currently trying to make my cooking channel on YouTube. Any advice? Ooh, super cool. Um, any advice? I mean, I wouldn't say that I have a cooking channel, um, but, uh, people want to see what you're cooking. People want to see like what you're doing, what you're cooking. Um, any, uh, like being able to provide tips and tricks along the way, like things that work for you, um, things like that. I don't know. For those of you guys that are on the live stream right now, any, any tips for Jerry likes to cook? Um, why do you guys watch my Noe cooking with Noe videos? Typically, I am looking, typically I watch YouTube cooking videos because I'm looking for a specific recipe. And so this person has posted a video on a recipe that I'm looking for. Um, I do watch some videos just for the fun of it. Like I watch um, Emmy Made, but she's like on, I don't know, she's bigger than YouTube. No, I don't need anything cut. No. For the shrimp. Uh, not yet. Um, but yeah, usually I'm looking like I want, uh, I want to know like what's in it, how to make it. Um, and I wouldn't say like more, my videos are more like just cook along with me instead of like an actual instructional video. So it depends on what you're, no, it depends on like what you're wanting to be or showcase. Um, for me, my cooking with Noe videos is more just being able to share with you guys and kind of hang out with friends in the kitchen while I cook. Um, and yeah, but uh, what kinds of videos are you thinking of doing? Like what kinds of stuff do you cook, Jerry? No, Zara. Um, just starting out, not really sure, willing to cook anything viewers are interested in. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, it could be, like, start out with cooking, like, 
what are some of the things that you're really here oh since everything is just kind of doing its own thing i'll pop back onto the camera um i think uh being able to showcase like some of the things that you're really good at cooking like what are your favorite recipes um what's something uh unique that as a unique recipe that people might not know of or even something mundane that you think is mundane but like people are like oh my gosh because um some of my biggest cooking videos are um i think the meatloaf video and my salmon patty video um which to me those are just kind of like mundane especially my salmon patties i'm like whatever it's super easy um but you know that may be something that like you had a couple of times um, maybe at your aunt's house or something like that, but you never knew how to cook it, um, then, you know, go for that. Because the what you do first, like, you want to be comfortable with it. That's the biggest thing. Um, let's see. Just a, oh, grilled cheeseburgers and shrimp stir fry. Yum. See, I'd be curious about what a grilled cheeseburger is. Um, and shrimp stir fry. Yummo. That's what it feels like watching you hanging out with a friend cooking. Yay! Because you guys, like, I love, yes. This, like, doing live streams with you guys makes me, makes my heart happy. It just, especially in these times uh, where we don't get a whole lot of, like, person-to-person -person interaction these days, uh, these live streams, like, do my soul good. So, um... But, uh, yeah, which, oh, Jerry, you just reminded me. So I make these burgers that Hershey loves that I don't think I've done a video on them. So next time I get some, um, it works best when I have the fresh ground beef rather than, like, having it frozen and thawed. Um, so next time I have that, I'll have to do a video um, on what he calls commencement bay burgers. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, yeah. I would start out with cooking what you know, because that's what's going to, you're going to be comfortable doing that. Um, understanding your camera angles, and again, like, it depends on, like, how, you know, if you're wanting to be an all-cooking show. Um, you know, you might talk about, like, things around the kitchen, like, if you have mad knife skills, or teach people how to do certain things that are related to cooking or make things easier, terminology. So I don't know, there's a lot of things. I guess those are all things I could be doing videos on too. <laughs> but um, yeah, these little scrimps are doing good. Um, thank you so much for your advice. I'll be subscribing to you and remember you when I beat Bobby Flay. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, remember the little people. Remember cooking with Noe on the Hirsch Noe channel. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this pumpkin pie. It's like giving me, it's taking everything in me to not like keep peeking at it. But, uh, because my, I don't know what's wrong with the stove, but like I replaced the light bulb and then... I don't know, a week later, it was out again, so who knows, but I've just given up on having a, a light in there, and it's been, like, <laughs> years. <laughs> okay, and my rice is a bubbling, so I think this will be good. Hopefully, the girls will take to it this time because it's got the chicken bouillon on it, so it'll have a little more flavor to it, um, but yeah, and my corn's looking good. I'm really hoping that our corn harvest next year, we, um, oh, I should take you guys on a video of the, or on a tour of the backyard again, because it looks drastically different now. Um, but we're already kind of planning for next year of what we want to do, where we want to do it and everything. So, um, uh, that's cool, but we're going to be planting our corn in a different spot. Um, so hopefully it's a spot that stays pretty sunny and also we don't have anything right there. So just kind of dead space. Um, so hopefully I'll have a really good corn harvest next year. I mean, last year we had like one ear, I think. And this year we had, I don't know, I think we got like three or four ears. Um, so hopefully next year is it. Uh, I will say like one thing I learned was 
growing the borage, so the, the little purple wildflowers, um, and also having the nasturtiums, just, uh, <laughs> scripts, yes, uh, just kind of being willy-nilly about um, really, really helped my tomatoes thrive because it brought all the pollinators um, to that area of the garden and they would just disperse from there. But um, we had to kind of, I had to control the borage a little bit um, because there are points where I was like, okay, this is just too much. Um, I have no idea what that's going to look like next year because it just reseeds itself. Like the seeds go everywhere. Um, but we'll see. I do like the flowers. They're really, they're really pretty. Um, but yeah, so we got our landscaping done in the front of the house. I don't know if we did a video on that. Maybe we did. Um, but it's just been, I've been busy, um, working, trying to get the kids settled, um, with school. I don't know if settled is ever a feeling that I'm going to have with their school, I, you know, I don't know that I'm going to feel settled with 2020, 2021 um, school year at all. And I'm understanding that that's okay. I, not many people are. So um, just figuring everything out with that. What? It's not ready yet. Oh, I don't know how long ago I put the pumpkin pie in because I forgot to set a new timer. Okay, Google, how much time has lapsed since the timer went off? You've got 52 minutes and 25 seconds to go. Okay. What? what? I'm going to peek. I can't help it. Oh, it smells so good. Oh. No, I'm not opening it again. <laughs> okay, so I don't think I'll still be on by the time I pull out of the oven, but I will take a picture and I'll post it on our Instagram and in our Discord. So um, join our Discord if you haven't yet. We have fun conversations and that kind of thing so oh who here plays among us how many of you guys have played that um somebody from our discord told us about it and so i downloaded it and i haven't played it in a few days but it's super fun <laughs> We haven't played it uh, since Yeah. It's kind of like if you guys have ever played Mafia um, with cards, which that used to be like my favorite like camp game or like group game is Mafia. I'm going to turn that back on low. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle my parsley on. Is Sweets asleep? Yeah. She's going to be up all night. <laughs> this kid does not keep a regular sleep schedule. She definitely gets the sleep that she needs, just not in the schedule that we like. But it's all good. Can you throw this away for me, please? Up here, yes. Yeah. Hey, send me a piece. <laughs> hey, Alasia, Alasia, sorry. Um, yeah. Oh, you guys want to see the shrimp? Ta da! Homemade shrimp scampi. Yes, I'm excited to eat. And I'm excited for this pumpkin pie. My 
battery's at 15%, which is okay, because I think my rice is gonna be done relatively soon. But, um, yeah. So I haven't done a Cooking with Noe in a, in a while, but are there other things that you guys would like for me to do? Ideas? Have I talked to you guys about bean soup? Let's see. Oh, I should have done a video when I did the shells and cheese. I made uh, stuffed shells and cheese which is like a copycat of Buca de Beppo. If you've ha ever had Buca de Beppo, there's also their stuffed shells and cheese. Um, and that's really good. I made that during the week, this last week. Um, this week, probably gonna do some bean soup, um, maybe some potato soup. I'm gonna do, um, I haven't done crab cakes cause I think I'm the only one that could eat them. The kids maybe, but um, Herschel's allergic to crab, so, huh? Oh yeah. And Zara broke out in hives and she had an oyster or a clam. So, so yeah, crab cakes are, I probably wouldn't make. Um, but, oh, I'm going to make, I'm going to make some nuclear nuggets this week. Um, yeah, that's what uh, that's what Hershey and I call them. They're basically I basically like chicken chicken nuggets, um, but chicken breast pieces I cut up, pan fry, and then um, I make my own hot sauce, nuclear sauce, <laughs> um, and then you bake them so it kind of bakes on and dries a little bit, and so that's what Hershey calls nuclear nuggets. And then I make some that are not spicy. Um, usually lemon pepper. So it's just a, a take on wings without having to cook wings. Um, so, yes. Oh, and I made um, delicata squash for the first time last week. If you've never had that, and if you like sweet potatoes, I highly recommend trying out some delicata squash. Um, it's thin. It's about th this big or so, and like a, like a zucchini. Um, but uh, it's yellow with some green stripes on it. But basically you cut those in half, you scoop out the seeds, and then you cut them into U's. And I, I feel like I've already talked about this. I'm having some deja vu right now. But uh, then I uh, mixed them with some olive oil, some salt and pepper, and a little bit of brown sugar. And then you roast them. And it tastes a lot like a sweet potato. You can eat the skin and everything. Um, those are really good. So I'm probably going to have to get some more of those. I've got an acorn squash, um, too, and I've got a spaghetti squash. So um, I might be able to show you some things with those, too. So, Because um, I know some people are looking for, like, fall-y type of recipes. So... Those are some. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Ouch. This darn stool. So, well, um, I think my rice is still going to take a few more minutes. I think I have run out of things to share with you. Um, yeah, subscribe to my own channel. Um, and, uh, 
I don't know exactly when I'll be getting content up on there, like new content, but hopefully soon. Uh, maybe when I get my stitch fix, that'll be my first video that I put up there. Um, so if you're curious about stitch fix, um, I'll give you my honest opinion about how I like it and all of that. But, um, and you guys can see hopefully some new clothes that'll get added to my wardrobe because I need some jeans. Mama needs some good fitting jeans. <laughs> um, but anyway, I think that's it. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I had fun, um, as I always do when I get to live stream with you guys. Um, I will post pictures of the pumpkin pie, um, because it's going to take a bit longer. Um, but if you have any questions, any suggestions, please let me know down below. Um, share, subscribe, and, uh, yeah, we love you guys. Thanks for, uh, being our supporters and our followers, watching our videos entertaining me and uh i'll see you guys next time <laughs> bye guys